Palestine has been a passer of messages, we assume, between uh, Jerusalem and Riyadh. Uh, but uh, President Biden making it clear for Israel to tamper down its hopes for the present. Yeah, well, I think that uh, President Biden was sending a message to uh, the Israeli government and the Israeli Prime Minister in light of the disagreements between the U.S. administration and the Israeli government. The criticism that Biden has about the makeup of the uh, current coalition in Israel and its uh, policies. But at the end of the day, uh, there are in fact negotiations taking place uh, via the U.S. between Saudi Arabia and Israel for normalization. I think the Biden administration would like to present this as an achievement before uh, the uh, presidential election next uh, next year in November. Uh, and uh, the question is, uh, is the price demanded by the Saudis something that the Biden administration is willing to pay? Uh, that's really what it is about. It's more about the, the price and the demands that the Saudis has vis-a-vis -vis the Biden administration than about Israel. It's really negotiation between the U.S. and Right, and, and President Biden was quite frank laying out some of those issues, a defense pact which could be problematic given, for example, the Saudis' involvement, for example, in the recent Yemen war is one example. And also this, the idea of the Saudis wanting a civilian nuclear program, which has to give even some in Jerusalem pause. Right, so that's one of the demands of the Saudi regime uh, is to have a civilian nuclear uh, program. Uh, something that the Saudis want because, of course, Iran is already a threshold nuclear uh, country. I'm very doubtful that the Biden administration would agree to that. I mean, the, the, the United States in the past was pretty lenient to, towards India on its nuclear program, but it's because it needs India as a counterweight to China. Uh, today, uh, America needs counterweights to Iran, but I don't think to the point that they would be willing to let uh, Saudi Arabia has a civilian nuclear program because this would open, as far as the U.S. is concerned, a domino effect in the Middle East, and I don't think the Americans are interested about this. But then the reason I think Biden is sending those messages to Israel is to say, you know, I'm willing to pay a price for normalization, uh, but I have an issue with you guys and your government and its policies. So it's a two-way street. Right. Uh, we should say uh, also the Saudis, uh, the road to that normalization may look run through Washington, but certainly issues, uh, uh, policies with the Palestinians are going to may make that problematic. Yeah, even though in the past, I mean, remember the Saudi peace initiative uh, over 20 years ago, which demanded a Palestinian state in the 67 sure. lines, etc. Today, uh, Mohammed bin Salman doesn't really make such demands. I mean, he does pay lip service to the Palestinian right. issue, but it's not that he really cares about it. He cares more about the security guarantee is demanding from the United States. The Saudis are still paying lip, uh, lip service to the Palestinian issue, but honestly, they don't really care about it. All right, uh, Dr. Emmanuel Navone, thank you for joining us again. Thank you. On the